Hi guys, my husband and I did this weekend project and my kids helped me as well. And here are my babies that I just moved in this area. These babies came from the plant box that I had and they had grown so much that I needed a bigger room for them because I want them to grow really big and I needed to move these guys in here. This one is the Echeveria Claire and this one is I think the Galaxy Blue and here's my Domino Cactus I just love this cactus I love the the dots on them the white dots and this pink one here right here is the Super Bum and also if you watch my other video that's my Ambricata I moved them there and this one I don't know that middle one and this is my Topsy Turvy and my Coral Cactus and then I have this other one here that I don't know about the name over here is this aloe and I don't know what this aloe is called and then also this Gasteria is from my mother-in-law and they're so big compared to what I saw in the stores I wonder if they're different also here is the another aloe and here is the Ionium Kiwi I have them in the terracotta pot and then I move them out here hopefully they'll grow bigger and more of this elephant bush and a bunch of stuff I just put in the back there um, fire sticks in Mariana, Marnie Rihanna, <laughs> Colin Coey. Here is another aloe right there. I need to learn the names of this guy of these guys here because I don't know them. Also, oh, I just love this coral cactus. I hope it will grow happy in the side. Here is also the uh, Provon the big one is really pink because it is exposed to a lot of sunlight right here it looks so pretty but this other two is not so i moved them up here to help it get more sunlight to, and then hopefully it'll get pink i just love that color so beautiful also here is another cactus i don't know its name again and I got these rocks that are on here, these little pebbles, from the coral cactus that I got in Walmart. I got this in Walmart and they have them glued on that one. So my husband took them apart and was able to crumble them. And here is another Echeveria player. And it has a little bud coming up soon. And here are some California sunsets here in this also fred eyes very beautiful and more gasteria <laughs> and also the scallops in the back and then here is more ghost plant and elephant bush and more of these green things i forgot what they're called but they are pink some of them that has too much sun has pink on them really cool i like that and here is echeveria debbie and it will get pink soon because this is more sunny in this side here and this one is the lavender scallops Kalankoi. and then more gasteria and here is um i think it's called watch chain i have them on the other side too Hopefully, it'll get bigger on that side. And that aloe I was talking about earlier, I don't know the name. I really like that aloe, and I'm gonna have to find out what it's called. Here is more of the ghost plant in the elephant bush, the trailing one. It trails down, so it will go down to the side of the planter. So, I did not water this too much, you guys. I just kinda wet the rocks because I did not rinse them and it was so dusty and I didn't like the way it looks and then I want to see what the outcome of this so I kind of just spray a little bit of water to rinse out some of the particles on 
the rocks and to see what it looks like so just a little witness because I don't want to damage my plants and this little palm tree hopefully this survives I don't know oh my goodness if it doesn't survive and I have to pull all of these plants in the middle out of the way and the rocks oh my goodness I just hope it will survive this winter <laughs> that would be a lot of work well that's it for now you guys I will keep an update on this planter in a month or so and I will see you next time bye bye